Hey everyone, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. Alright, today I'm going to show you how you can actually find out what your signal strength is on your Verizon home internet. And this is specifically for this cube shaped gateway. And the only trick is there's actually two of them and they're different brands on the inside, but the outer case is the same. This video is for the ASCII one. And the way you can tell is by looking at the bottom of your unit, the barcode that is for the SKUI. If it starts with ASK, that means it's the ASCII one. That's what we're talking about today. If you have one that starts with ARC, that's the Arcadian one. And it actually already shows you a signal strength number in the web interface that you can see uh, without having to do anything special. The ASCII one, the only time it really tells you is if you remember during setup of the device the first time, it would give you a little pop-up that says, you know, your signal is good or your signal is weak or poor or whatnot. And then it never tells you again how your signal is. And that's not very helpful because you might get better signal on a different part of the house or whatnot. So you want to find out what it is. Why do they hide it? I have no idea. That doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. The one downside is I have not quite figured out how you can find out what band you're on. So cellular has different bands. And depending on what band it is, uh, it might be better or worse speed. So um, that's not covered here, but let's go in there. This shows you both your 4G and your 5G uh, signal strength. So it's really helpful for helping place your device around. Now I'm going to use a computer to do this. So there might be a way with mobile phone or whatnot, but I'm going to use a Windows computer. I'm going to use a Chrome browser, but this should work in uh, Mac OS and other browsers as well using um, the developer tools or sometimes it's called like inspect the page or view the source uh, HTML that might sound uh, daunting to some of you guys but I promise you this is pretty easy to do I'll show you how to do it right here on the computer now alright and as always if you hit the like button you hit the subscribe if you're not already and hit the bell icon on the subscribe so you get notified when new videos come out that helps the channel and that keeps me going thanks Okay, now the first step is you obviously have to be connected from your computer to the actual gateway. It can be over Ethernet or Wi-Fi. And then here I'm using Windows, and again, this is Google Chrome that I am using. But this should work in other uh, web browsers as well. It will be a similar um, process here. So let's just go into the 192.168.12.1. This is the web interface on the gateway itself. The first step here is you will get a login screen. That password is the one on the bottom of the device. And you just type in that password, not the Wi-Fi password, but the admin password. And then you'll log in here and you will see your device. You can go here to network. And then we'll go down to network status. And now if you scroll down, you will see a cellular section. And it tells you a little bit of information about your cell signal. It'll tell you if it's ready, and it'll tell you if you're roaming or not. And then it'll tell you if you are on 4G LTE or if you have the 5G, and this is 5G non-standalone. That's what the NSA stands for. So that means I'm also connected to a 4G LTE band as well. But again, there is no signal strength here. So to get that, what you want to do is go over here to the three dots in the upper right corner of Chrome, Go to More Tools, and then go to Developer Tools. Now, what this brings up, I think by default, I think it goes to Elements. Um, and you can actually um, go here, and what this basically is, is they send data from the gateway to here, but they can code it out and hide the information. So it's actually here. They just hide it from us uh, viewing it by default. Now... The way I kind of found it myself was once I clicked into here, I clicked Control F, which was to find, and I found that signal was the best keyword to look for, and that one's right here, and I can see that it is under a class type that is listed as hide, which means they're hiding it from view. So if I you know expand down some of these ones that are underneath this, I see this flashing color and what this flashing color is is meaning that that data is getting updated so the gateway is sending new information to your web browser 
uh, to display, but it's being hidden, so it's not updating or displaying. But you can read it here. It says signal bar sizing box good bars dash four. And what that means is that you get four bars of signal and it's saying, hey, make a make a little um, picture of four bars. And there's other information in there as well. And so I can actually go in here. Let me scroll down to the cellular section because this is where it shows up. And I can actually go in here and delete the hide and all the spaces um, before it and hit enter and look at that my now I have a bar that shows up and that one is for my LTE bars and you can see you can go over it and there it is four bars if it was three bars it would be I think yellow color um, and just three bars and then you got uh, red as well so um, you can go through here and you can just look at these flashing ones if you wanted to and it tells you if it's four bars or three bars or five bars you can unhide or the shortcut here is and this is thanks to a uh, reddit post and i'll put a link to that in the video description but they gave um some shorthand um html code to go in there and basically what it does is it it replaces the hide uh, call out with uh, nothing so it's the same thing as basically deleting the hide but this does it for all the areas so if i do that and hit enter now what you see here is um, it not only shows me my 5G one, but it gives you labels, it added the line, and it tells you the signal. So why did they not include this? They must have actively chosen, because it looks like it's all done, uh, meaning it's all there, it's formatted, oh, it looks good, but uh, they must have actively chosen to not show it to the customer, or who knows why. So what this code does is it's just a temporary thing. So it doesn't keep this all the time. But now, is, so long as you are in the current browser, this is now live updating. So, um, and you, know, you can go back here, as I showed kind of before, that it's flashing. Each one of those is an update. So if you were moving your gateway around, it would be updating these bars uh, real time for you with this web browser open. So especially for people that are trying to find the best signal in their house, and if some parts of the house they get 4G and, and sometimes they can pick up 5G, this would be a great tool for that. You could have this open, you could be looking at it on a laptop or someone else looking at it on a desktop and move your gateway around and see what kind of signal bars you're getting. It's not perfect, obviously, because it's not giving you as much detail as you would like because the bars are not the only thing that matters. Also, which band you're connected to, as well as things like signal to noise. These are other things that the T-Mobile the home internet gateways actually provide a lot more information uh, to the user than the Verizon one does. But um, this at least gets us um, in a spot where we can figure out what our signal strength is and to make sure that we have a 5G or uh, 4G LTE um, signal issue going on. So I will put this code that I typed in, and again, this is from a Reddit guy, so I'm, I'm just cribbing off of that. Uh, I'll put that in the video description in here in YouTube. So if you're on mobile, you can uh, go right underneath the video, hit the little down uh, arrow, and it, you might have to hit expand again to view all this stuff, or on a computer, it's the same uh, process. So hopefully this helped you guys out, and this lets someone figure out um, where they get good signal or bad signal. Also, uh, obviously on my channel I have lots of other stuff if you want to look at adding external antennas or talking about cell boosters I have a lot of that kind of stuff as well as some wild and crazy other antics I do between woodworking metalworking uh, zip lines over the pond um, dirt tracks that kind of stuff so be sure to check it out and thanks